I think today's video is gonna be a very informative one because I'm not gonna lie, before I did research for this video, I was confused on this topic myself, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys the ultimate guide what Peripera has to offer as far as the lip product goes. I'm gonna be talking about formulations, the differences, my thoughts on each of the different types. Now starting off, I have so many notes on this whole topic, so if you guys see me looking down here, it's because I have my notes that I wrote everything down so I can give you guys all the accurate and current information, everything everything. I'm also going to be putting chapters in this video. So if you guys want to just like jump to whatever category you want to, whatever lip product, feel free to, because this is going to be a fairly information dense video. Starting off with the lip product that has been around for the longest is one that I feel like Peripera is really known for. And the one that I have the most of is the classic ink, the velvet. I'm gonna set this down so I'm not jingling the whole time and I'm just gonna wave run around. By the way, I am gonna be mentioning prices in this video and for all the uh, style prices, I'm gonna have my discount code in the description box below. I always have that sitting in there. So I will be giving you the prices listed on the website, but they're actually Cheaper if you use my discount code, so just putting that out there. Ink the Velvet retails for $10 on YesStyle and $8 on Amazon. This is a long lasting lip tint with a whipped cream like texture. This is highly pigmented and there have been several generations of these. So in fact, I can't even tell you how many shades they have that they're currently offering because some of them have been discontinued. Some of them are in different collections. They've had updated colors, they've had older colors. So there's a lot of them. <laughs> In fact, speaking of collections, I have one here from the Weather Collection, which I believe is from January 2023. So one of their more current collections where they release more limited edition shades. This is formulated to be more highly adhesive. So it does have a double layer of elastomer, which in formulas that kind of helps thicken up the product. It also helps absorb oil and it's gonna help improve product wear. So since it does have that like oil absorbing property, that's where you're gonna get kind of that like velvety soft finish from. Now I personally like these for the amount of shades that they offer in this and out of a lot of the Peripera lip products that we're gonna be talking about, this is one that leaves some of the most staining property to it. So if you guys like that, you would probably like a product like this. I will say though, it's not as forgiving as some of the other products I'm gonna be talking about as far as if you have dry lips go, which is a big concern for me. And I do find that this does sink into some of the fine lines and texture that my lips have because this has a thicker formula to it. Now moving on to the counterpart of Ink the Velvet, we have the Ink Airy Velvet. Now this retails for $10 on both YesStyle and Amazon. There's a discount code on YesStyle and there's also currently a discount code on Amazon for 20% off. And this is supposed to be kind of a more wearable, comfortable matte type of lip color. This came out as kind of a light as air counterpart to the Ink the Velvet. One thing that I noticed when they introduced this product was they introduced more of a moisturizing quality to it. So this does provide like a bit of softness and suppleness to the lips. Now moving on to the last comparable like soft velvety matte type of lip product, we have the Ink Mood Matte Tints. Now these are $9 on YesStyle and these are also designed to be highly adherent. They are a smudge free finish and this was formulated with the caking and clumping in mind. I think this is the big differentiating factor when it came to formulating these from Peripera from the Ink the Velvet is they wanted to provide a nice matte adherent lip product that wasn't going to cake up in the fine lines and wrinkles your lips might have or any textural differences from dryness. This was also released during that era of Korean beauty where the blurred feathered matte velvety lip was becoming really popular. So I also think that Peripera formulated that this with that in mind. <laughs> Okay, now that we've gone over some of the more like velvety, soft, matte type of lip products, I'm gonna take a moment here to compare the three previous products that I just discussed. Now that I've given you guys the claims of each of the products, how they were designed, and my personal thoughts on each. As far as the heaviness of the product, naturally the Ink Airy Velvet is gonna have the lightest texture and feel on the lip. So if you're someone who doesn't like a heavy feel, this one would probably be your cup of tea. Now going from that, the middle 
thickest, I would say, is the Mood Matte, and the thickest of all of them is the Ink the Velvet. That comes as really no surprise to me. This is one of the more older formulations that Peripera has, and it's kind of before I feel like velvet lip products had become more cosmetically elegant. However, having said that, it's not saying that this is a bad product, it's just if you consider that, keep that in mind. Now, because it is the thickest, however, I would say that this is easily the most highly pigmented. One swipe and you have a ton of color on your lip, the opacity is the highest. And then I would say middle opacity or middle pigment would be the Mood Matte. And then of the lightest would be the Ink Airy Velvet. All of that to me seems pretty, self-explanatory because a lot of the opacity is gonna have to do with the thickness of the product. As far as which one of these I like the most, I would say I definitely like the Ink Airy Velvet the most out of the three of these. The Ink the Velvet is just a little thick to my liking. I feel like there are better products out there for this type of look. And the Mood Matte, I just wasn't that impressed by it in general. Not something that I gravitate or reach to, but the Ink Airy Velvet is something that I think is a really nice lip product. For this next section of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to what I would consider the lip products that give your lips a bit of a shine. It's more of a lighter lip tint, but it gives a bit of a sheen. So first starting off, we're gonna have the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. This was formulated as a counterpart to the Ink Mood Matte Tint. And this retails for $8.50 on YesStyle and about $10 on Amazon with a 20% off going on right now. This is where Peripera, I feel like, introduced a bit of a lip plumping look. Again, kind of playing off a lot of the trends that were going on at the time that this came out. This is a long lasting, high color payoff type product. And I do find that this does have a bit of moisturizing quality to it. And it has a lightweight but non-sticky type feel. Now I still really like this product. I think it's lovely. Despite the fact that Peripera came out with, I believe is kind of a newer generation of this type of product, which is one of their newest lip offerings, which is the Water Bear Tint. I was so excited when I saw this because I just think the idea behind this is really nice. This is a $10 product on Amazon. This retails for $10 on YesStyle, and this actually has a 40% water infused formula for a more dewy finish. This has a sheer formula with a vibrant color that you can build up, and it has an oil water formula so it does have that long lastingness without the stickiness and in those oils there is apricot kernel oil and jojoba seed oil um, there are six shades and i also saw that they just released two new shades in their newest collection as part of their Peritage collection. And these are incredibly lightweight. I feel like Water Bear is the perfect descriptor for these types of products. They are so sheer when they go on. I, honestly, this is probably one of the most lightweight products I've ever tried. And so I've had a very pleasant experience upon first trying this. Now, to compare the two formulas, I would say that the Water Bear is slightly more lightweight and sheer than the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. So this one does have a little bit more color payoff, but like I said, that's kind of due to the nature of this being a slightly thicker consistency than the Water Bear Tint. But because it does have that light consistency, I do find upon application, the Water Bear does slip around the lips a little bit. This is not the type of product I could apply without a mirror. I definitely have to have a little bit of a slower, steady hand when applying this, so I'm not going outside of the lip line. And because of that, I feel like this does have a little bit more grip and ease of application. Both of these, I felt like when they wore off, left a bit of moisture and suppleness on my lips. So that was nice. It didn't leave my lips feeling depleted. I do find that the Water Bear has a little bit more of a tint left behind than the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. But the one thing that I do find is different between the two formulas is the Water Bear dries down a little bit faster than the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. And when I say dry down, it doesn't actually dry down to like a matte consistency. It still has a little bit of that like softness glow to it, but I just find that this, the Ink Mood Glowy Tint has a little bit more of that like glossy, juicy type of lip look. It's so hard to say between these which ones I like the most because I think that they are different lip products because I really do like these Water Bear tints but I really like the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. So I hope that they don't phase this out because
The next section we are gonna be covering is going to be Peri Peri's Matte Style Lipsticks. The first one I will be talking about is the Ink Mood Matte Stick. These are $10.50 on Yes Style and $10 on Amazon. These are considered like a souffle matte type of product. It has a soft kind of powdery finish but not overly drying on the lips. This does claim to be wrinkle free. I don't necessarily find that with these products in particular. And it also has ester and silicone oils in the formula, so it's not supposed to cake up or clump on the lips or like cracks for the lips in general. These are pigmented and like I said, kind of give your lips a soft blurred lip effect. This is just not really my cup of tea. Like I said, I feel like this did emphasize some of the dryness on my lips. Of course it is a matte style lipstick, so it's kind of unavoidable. I found these a little bit powdery and I have to press pretty hard to get these to go on my lips. So it's not like a soft glide matte type of lick. I think that there are a lot of products out there that are frankly better than these. Next, we have the Ink Intense Stick. These are $8 on Yes Style, and to be honest, I would not be surprised if they're phasing these out as well, because just even looking at the packaging, this seems to be a little bit of an older generation of peri peri lip products as far as their current offering goes, and I can just tell that this is not kind of peri peri's brand anymore. So I will talk about these very briefly in this video. But yeah, I have a feeling that these are gonna phase out, which is disappointing because I actually think that these are pretty nice. Have a lightweight type of feeling to it and have a high color payoff. These are also formulated to go onto the lips well, glide on and create a non-clumped matte lip type of effect. Now let's go ahead and get to the comparison of these two products. I do like how the Ink Intense Sticks go on the lips because they just seem to slide and glide onto the lips a bit better. Some of the other key differences though would be the Ink Mood Matte Sticks have a better adhesion I found and they have a little bit less opacity to them. The Ink Velvet Intense Sticks, they're more pigmented, a little bit more creamy, but they do wipe off easier. So I like these slightly better, but they emphasize my dry lips. They emphasize kind of the cracks and fine lines in my lips. So not gonna be something I'm reaching for, especially because I just find a velvet lip is gonna be better for my type of lips when it comes to that type of look versus something like this. I feel like honestly, matte lipsticks are kind of out the door at this point as well. Now the next category I will be talking about are kind of like the miscellaneous lip products that Peri Peri has to offer. The first one that I'll be talking about is the Ink Lasting Lip Gloss. These are $10 on YesStyle and $10 on Amazon with 30% off. These are the three shades that they currently offer right now and these are a beautiful buttery gloss. They glide on, they're non-sticky, and they have a lot of nourishing oils in them which I find keeps my lips feeling a lot more moisturized. I don't find that these chap my lips at all and they just give your lips a nice dewy, glossy, juicy, plumped look. As you can tell, I really like these. In fact, I mentioned these in one of my recent favorites videos or I shouted them out to talk about them, especially this shade in three. I find that this looks beautiful on every lip product, bare lips, anything that I apply. And I'm not a big lip gloss girl because I don't like the stickiness and I just find them a little messy. I like these. And then finally, we have the Ink Mood Glowy Balm. This is $9 on YesStyle and $13 with 20% off on Amazon. This is a moisture rich tinted lip balm. So this is the style of lip product that you can apply without a mirror. You can pull out of your purse and just slap it on and it looks good. It is a bit glossy like without stickiness. It has coconut oil in this for nourishing and it is fairly lightweight. I honestly have no complaints about this. I think it's a lovely lip product and I think it goes on nicely. I didn't necessarily pick a shade that was most flattering to my skin tone, but I do think that if you pick a shade that you'd like, I could see this being a very nice universal style lip product. All right, guys, so that is my video on the current lippies from Peri Para, the differences between them, their claims, my reviews, and comparison of the products. And I hope this was helpful in case you guys were confused like I was. I know a lot of times when it comes to brands like Peri Para who are really strong in the lip category, to understand or know the differences or how you should be using them for what type of look. So I hope this clarified and gave you guys a lot of concise and brief information. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I tried my best to like categorize and compartmentalize each of these. So I will list everything down in the description box below, including the discount code for YesStyle and also links to Amazon. 
I know a lot of you guys will purchase from different retailers, so I'm gonna include both of those in the description box below so you guys can pick whichever one works well for you if you guys are curious about picking up these products. And I'm gonna go, I am frankly, winded because uh, I did a lot of talking in this video. So I hope this was helpful. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.